Hi, and welcome back to the channel. So, um, this is uh, obviously the continuing saga of record cleaning, and um, I am now well and truly embarked on my investigation of the D Gritter 2 record cleaner. And um, I've done some preliminary tests, and I don't mind saying that the initial first impressions were very positive. Excuse the noise in the background, by the way, we've got the, the local council streaming streaming the hedges and things um so yeah i've, I've embarked upon some uh, initial tests and first impressions are very positive um but then it kind of threw up as a sort of do a test and then i'll process it and think about it and then you kind of come up with potential loopholes or or, or things that could be um you know interpreted in different ways and i was chatting with my wife earlier um, we were out on an early morning walk and um, she said uh, really what you need is the exact same record several times over brand new because this is this is to do the um, you know just to ascertain the pegging order how effectively one is and what we can also do is cleaning something multiple times with various machines work out whether there is actually any damage being done um, and uh, yeah, my wife came up with the smart idea of getting four copies of the same album so that we can uh, leave one as is, as a reference. Um, this is similar as I was doing with the Humming Guru with like the Barbra Streisand and, and, and the, you know, cleaning one side, not cleaning the other side, you know, etc. But But ultimately what we need to do is leave one copy uh, uncleaned as a reference one copy clean on the humming guru, one copy clean on the lorry craft and one copy clean on the D gritter and do it over and over and over again. And each time we can compare to the uncleaned to see if they're getting better, if they're changing for just changes sake rather than getting better or if they're getting worse. And I kind of felt that was a pretty definitive test. The only problem with that is I'd have to buy four copies of the same new album. So. I went into Raves from the Grave, we went into Raves from the Grave and just uh, asked the question, um, have you got any records, new records that you've uh, bought in recently and, and, and rather massively overstocked uh, such that you are willing to sell me at a really cheap price? And basically they did these at uh, not quite half price, but not far off. Uh, so the new Muse album, I don't know the new Muse album, I quite like Muse, quite like early-ish Muse anyway. So... Um, we're going to get to know this one well because we have uh, one, two, three, four copies. So what I'm going to do is um, open these up and just put on the label a post-it note with uh, like one, two, three, four, so to speak. And there we are, four pieces of, um, so I've got some post-it notes here. And um, what I'm going to do is one, so there we go, number one. Muse album will be shooting up the charts now, won't it? kind of just thought I would do this on camera because I don't know, having thought of the idea, apart from the fact it's cost me 50 quid just for records to do it, but it, 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 it should be a fairly conclusive and definitive way of doing this. And um, 
And I kind of think that you guys want to know that I am doing this rather than just saying I'm going to do this because um, you know, if you want to prove something, prove something. You don't just um, say something else, you know, or repeat what you've been told. And it's funny, actually, also this morning, um, my wife said to me, uh, have you looked at some, you know, have you looked at other degritted reviews? And I said, no, I haven't really. I mean, I've seen one or two over the, over the years, but I haven't really. Um, I certainly haven't researched them. And I said, no, I specifically don't want to do that because no matter how much you try and remain neutral, if you listen to other people's opinion, it's almost impossible to have your judgment not coloured. And... Um, you know, as I say about politics or anything else, if you just spout what you've been told, there we are. So here we go. Four different, well, four identical copies of uh, Will of the People by Muse. And I, so I, I say, what I should do is I'll just take like, I don't know, the first track or something and play them. I will demagnetize them all. Uh, I did decide I would do that um, just to make absolutely certain that we're not listening to the face of magnetism. And I will demagnetize them before every play. So I will demagnetize them all. I'll play the first track, listen to it, just ascertain that there's that they sound the same. And if they, if they don't, of course, I'll make notes to that, you know, to take that into account. Uh, and then I'll clean them, or three of them one on the lorry craft, one on the honey crew, and one on the degritter. And what I will be doing is I will be using my 0.03% Ilfetol solution. Because first impressions is that's my preferred solution for, for rinsing at least in the 2D, in, in the two ultrasonic machines. Um, and, um, and then and obviously one of them I'll, I'll clean on the lorry craft and, and we'll have, um, you know, then a, a, a table of results of, of, you know, what one clean on each of the three does, what two cleans on each of the three does, four clean, you know, et cetera, et cetera, um, with a reference that we can refer back to at all times. So maybe I'll do 10 cleans um, in each method and then go back and just, you know, are they all better than the original or, or have some of them actually suffered damage you know it'll, you know i kind of think there's only one way of finding out which is to kind of clean clean one to death and have uh, have a have a you know an uncleaned reference side by side so anyway that's what i'm going to be doing over the next um few days and uh i just thought i'd just give you this little taster and um you know we'll we whether whether i edit this into the beginning of the next video or whether this is a just a short little teaser on its own we shall see okay catch you all soon thanks very much bye bye